Y'all, 2020 is almost over, man, and what the hell happened this year? This year we had Baby Yoda, Murder Bees, but even after a dumpster fire of a year, we finally got some good news. After many months of the pandemic, we finally found a vaccine for COVID. Now the Demon Souls came out, baby! Yo, you can finally play this game and not a PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, yeah, you can actually play this game in the year 2020. Yeah. Hey guys, sorry to end the fun here. I have some really, really bad news to share with y'all. Over the weekend, I uh, broke Demon Souls, y'all. Yeah, instead of enjoying Demon Souls, I accidentally plugged my DK bongos into my PS5, and after a little bit of modding, uh, I was playing Demon Souls with DK bongos. I'm so sorry, everybody. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Gamer Jail for this one, but before I go, let's do another episode of Controller Bending. So, editor, roll the intro. Controller bending. Gamers are giving a ton of praise to the DualSense for having haptic feedback on the triggers. But if you're looking for the original haptic feedback, check out the Donkey Kong bongos. To even play games with the DK bongos, you either have to slap your hands on each button or put a lot of pressure on each button to send an input. Come on, Sony. It took you the 2020 to make the DualSense? Donkey Kong figured that okay. shit out in 2004. All right, the first thing we have to do for this controller bend project is to figure out how to play Demon's Souls with a pair of DK bongos. First, we need to look at the controls for Demon's Souls and, uh, ooh. That's a ton of buttons, y'all. And I have to fit all of those buttons onto two Donkey Kong bongos because I only own two. Each Donkey Kong bongo only has five inputs. Two on each bong, or whatever this thing is called. A start button, and if you clap, it actually activates an input. A little discussion of how I want to do it. Now we're going to go for a win, so... So in total, my Donkey Kong bongos can only do 10 inputs, but Demon's Soul uses, uh, 20. Ooh. I might have failed every math class I had in college, but I'm pretty sure 10 doesn't equal 20. I might be bad at math, but I'm really good at controller bidding, so let's figure this out. First off, let's throw out all the unnecessary button inputs we don't need to play Demon's Souls with. L1 the block? Nope. Don't need a block if you don't get hit. Alright, now that we're done taking out the trash, we need to figure out what we actually need to play Demon's Souls with. We for sure need to be able to move around the game, so I mapped the movement and dodge rolling to the left bongo. We also need to be able to attack and heal, so I use the right bongo for that. And as you probably know, the bongos don't actually come with joysticks, so I can't really use the camera. On the bright side, FromSoft games let you reset your camera with the R3 button, so as long as we map that onto a bongo somewhere, we really don't need a camera to beat Demon Souls. After I modded all those button inputs on the DK bongos, I think we're ready to play Demon Souls with them. I've actually never played Demon Souls before the recording today, so uh, let's see how this goes. What do you mean? Yeah, let's get out here and explain, show the controls a bit better. <laughs> oh, I guess I don't have a chance. <laughs> I didn't think I was being in combat like that. I and there you go, guys. We beat Demon Souls. Uh, thanks for watching. I don't know why everybody said this game was so hard. That wasn't too bad. Oh. I'm dead. <laughs> By this point in the video, I expect some nerds to be like, Uh, excuse me, Mr. Loomis, but this video is fake. Look how the video camera showing the DK bongos is actually two frames behind the gameplay, and it's not possible to put the GameCube controller into the PS5 because it's not the same system. Boy, if you don't. <laughs> I'm actually streaming my Demon's Souls Donkey Kong manga run live on Twitch on twitch.tv slash superlewis64. So if you think I'm faking the entire thing, feel free to follow me on Twitch and prove me wrong by telling me in chat and watching my stream. You would think playing Demon's Souls with half the amount of buttons would be an issue, but honestly, it's not that bad. As long as you can keep the enemies in your lockdown range, fighting them isn't too hard. Hey, please don't walk towards me. Please don't. Actually, no, if you want to keep doing this. No, 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 no. That guy freaking Putin walked all the way towards me and I was like, he doesn't care. He doesn't care that I have a spear. Actually, the hardest part about playing Demon Souls with DK Bongas is dealing with those dumb enemies around the corner. Demon Souls is just a game where everyone's playing hide and seek, but the prize this time is life insurance fraud. Game looks, this game's so pretty, y'all. I didn't hear y'all scream at me, I probably would've gone. Ow, ow. Yeah, if I didn't hear them scream like that, that probably would've been it for me. 
But let's forget about these french fry enemies, we play Demon's Souls for the burger sized bosses. And on the topic of burgers, how did the DK Bongos fare against the first boss of the game, Vanguard Demon? The boss fight was kinda weird, in order to dodge their attacks you have to move around them, and moving on the DK Bongos is a… it's a different experience I can say. Honestly, the hardest part about this boss fight is fighting the urge to subscribe to the Vanguard's OnlyFans account. The Vanguard was looking way too thick for me, man. Uh, Oh, oh boy, look at this thick booty. Luckily, I wasn't able to find my mother's credit card, so I could have subscribed to the OnlyFans account. But after poking him in the butt for five minutes straight, he finally died. Get one more, we're done, right? Yeah. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Sometimes, you just win. Hey look at that, Demon Souls isn't that hard after all. Now it's time for a real boss fight to see if we can put the bongo's limited inputs to a test. Up next we take on Tower, too damn big for my damn screen, Knight. If you remember earlier, the bongos don't have a camera, and without that, this boss fight is dumb. Y'all, this boss is actually way too big for my camera, I can't see anything. Oh, hey, we won't. There he is. Hey, 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 get out of here. Scram. <laughs> what is happening? I can't see you. All my DK bongos have is a lock on button, so I had to guess 90% of the boss fight because I can't see the boss. I literally can't see the boss, y'all. Ooh, and don't get me started on those boo boo archers, man. Not only can I barely hit those archers with my DK bongos, I have to keep track of the tower knight throwing Twitch DMCA notices at me. And like on Twitch, I can't do anything about it. Audio. <laughs> <laughs> It's a really nice camera angle, by the way. Okay, you know, let's not talk about this. Ow! So with the DK Mongos, I had the master smashing the dodge button whenever I guessed what AoE is about to hit. Most of the fight, I just let Jesus take the wheel because I could not, I couldn't see what was going on. After punching his ankles over and over, the tower and I eventually fell down and I could finally get some revenge. I like it, cut G. After clenching my butt for 10 minutes straight to keep doing this over and over, I eventually beat the Tower Knight with DK Bongos. Watching friends, speedrunners and no hit runners do it. One more, one more. No! <laughs> no <what? laughs> I don't know what I did. I thought I failed, but we. <laughs> hey. I think that's enough proof to say it is possible to beat Demon's Souls with a pair of DK bongos. Now do you think someone can actually do it? Who knows, maybe I'll stream it if I do. But hey, if you have a controller I should try to play Demon's Souls with, leave a comment below. I was thinking about playing Demon's Souls with the banana controller I used to play Dark Souls with, but instead of playing Demon's Souls with food, what if I did something for bug snacks? Well, I think I'll save that for the next episode of Controller Bending. If you want to see that snack filled episode, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell. But until next video y'all, stay safe and pay your taxes. Peace.